Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, March the 2nd, day seven. Thought I was gonna zero today, and it's I'm getting a little light rain right now. I have uh, relented. I relented. I have a slack pack. Just wanna make sure I complete this event this is a big deal to me in my life and I thought that i would uh go all the way with a full pack and i'll just be honest with you it was from the idea got in my head from reading hiking through and a guy who did that and i actually had a little twist yesterday that just kind of made me realize hey you your ankles are not the best in the world, as I already knew and you know, but if I'm gonna do it, I need to take advantage of some of the opportunities that I have like today. It's raining, it was just raining on me. <clears throat> and the guys at uh, Around the Bend Hostel agreed to bring me to Blue Ridge Gap and drop me off and let me hike back Sobo today. And the guy there um, advised me. He said, look, you know, you need to make this thing. You need to make it to the end. He told me about a guy who had a heavy pack and said he was going to carry it all the way and then make it. And I don't want to, I don't want to risk that. So I'm slack packing. So I'm not going to talk about that much anymore. I'll let you know when I am slack packing, but I'm I'm not going. It's it's over now, so I'm not carrying my full full pack every time. So it's uh today's supposed to be a rainy day, but it's so far just it was rain. It started raining old midnight last night, and it rained most of the night. And uh, it's it's cooler today. And I only have, according to this sign that I'm standing in front of, I have 5.6 miles back to Dix Creek Gap. So he brought me up here and we were on a back road somewhere. And I have no idea how to get back except walk this trail. So uh, looking forward to a day back on the trail. And so I thought I was going to zero today, but I think I can do this after that 16.7 yesterday. This should be fairly easy. And then I'm probably going to zero on Friday because that's when the bad storms are coming. I did not know this was even possible when I was talking yesterday and planning and trying to figure out how I was gonna avoid the storms and being on the trail. A lot said, I'll stop. I'm gonna take a picture of this sign and I'm gonna start hiking. I'll show you some of the sights along the way. Thanks. These are the feet of my youngest grandchild. She was born three months premature. I'm carrying those little feet with me all the way to Maine. She also has the same name as my mother. So, Wanted to share that with you. I'm thinking about her today. My son-in-law sent me a video of her taking a bottle this morning. She was born in September, three months early. Stayed in a NICU for a very long time, but is doing great. And I wanted to take a little something along with me. And all the way to Maine to give me 
encouragement. And that's what I have from her, her little feet. So I'm thinking about her today, praying for her, praying for my daughter and son-in-law today. Back home, working, living their lives, doing all the things that they have to do every day while I'm out here having fun. But they're loving being parents and they're good parents. <clears throat> so I just want to share that with you. You can pray for pray for May as she grows, gets bigger and stronger, and catches up with everybody else her age. That she would one day also follow in the steps of her parents and accept Jesus as her savior and become a sweet little girl that she, I know she will be. All right, just thought I'd share that, thanks. Probably going to break out the frog togs. Starting to get wet. Just trying to make good time, trying to beat the rain so I don't get wet. I think as the day goes on, more and more chance of rain. I probably can hike fast in shorts and t-shirt. So that's my goal, just try to get down as quickly as I can within reason. Uh, really like hostile around the van. They've been very hiker friendly, helpful, very good and hostile to stay at. And they're very popular too among through hikers. So it's kind of, you better, if you're planning to stay there, you better make a reservation. Do your best to get there when you say. <clears throat> but this was the owner's idea that I do this today. So knowing, knowing that I felt pretty rough after yesterday, he talked me into the slack pack, which I think probably is wise for even for down the road, just to take that pressure off my feet. In my packs, I waited yesterday and it's a little heavy. I thought it was about 32, but I was 35. I really would like to get that under 30 if at all possible. But, and I know it will be after cold weather. I got to decide now, probably for the next stretch in North Carolina, what I can do to get me a little lighter. I'll figure it out. Probably too much food. Cause I hadn't hardly eaten much of my food. I actually had a supply box sent to this hostel and I just bounced it forward to Fontana Dam. Cause I have another supply box coming to the NOC. And those of you wondering how I get resupplied, we send supply boxes from home to places along the trail. Hopefully the places you're gonna walk into and not have to hike two or three miles off the trail to get it. All right. I'll keep on rolling. Oh yeah, by the way, yesterday I had my second trail magic from Tracker and oh shoot i can't think ah. tracker and trail math they uh i think that was i think that was the right names they were a godsend they were at dick's creek gap when i came down 
and gave me two Gatorades and let me sit down while I waited on my ride. Just incredibly good timing for me because I was whipped, hot, sunburned, and needed to sit down. So, you know, they say the trail provides, and I agree, but I have also have another belief that the Lord provides. And because I know he's taking care of me in spite of my stupid self. And so many times I've done so many stupid things and yet he's blessed me anyway. Only because he's God and he, he can and does. And I, I don't know how to explain it, so I'm not going to try, but I'm thankful. I was thankful for the Gatorade yesterday, incredibly thankful, because I was dying. And it's probably, I got that, why I'm able to hike today, part of the reason why I'm able to hike today is because I was so needed something. I had drank all my water and all my goo and all my Mio and just was just trying to get done. All right, I'll stop. Just thought I'd share that. It's kind of a very secluded area of the trail. I don't, I don't know why I feel that way. I mean, you're always out away from everybody and everything, but just, I don't know, it's kind of feel, this area feels more secluded. Hey, I'm passing through Plum Orchard Gap. And this is where Plum Orchard Shelter is. Down there. Now here's a really good shelter. I've watched other YouTubers film staying here. It's supposed to be a really nice shelter. So, but I didn't go down in there and check it out. As you can tell, I'm getting wet. I'm trying to keep rolling. And remember, I'm going southbound, not northbound. So, I think it's uh, probably about five miles from Dix Creek Gap. Somewhere around there, I don't know. I have to look it far out to be for sure, but something like that. All right, keep on rolling. Nice view here, even though it is cloudy. He flipped over to the other side and another big huge secluded valley have passed three through hikers so far we, I know I'll pass a lot more because there's a bunch of Dick's Creek Gap headed this way so I'm, since I'm southbounding again I see all my people that are hiking today. A lot of a lot of zero in today and tomorrow because of the weather. Some were not. Some some went on earlier were ahead of me. Got ahead of the weather to get into Franklin, North Carolina. It's pretty. It seems like I'm always filming when I'm going up. I guess I'm going fast down, so I don't film. When I slow down going up, I feel. But you get to hear me huff and puff. Not blowing any houses down though. See ya.
praying for Scotty this morning. He had a heart calf this morning. Ah, one of my deer camp buddies. Lord, protect Scotty. Give the doctor's wisdom. Pray for Scotty. Say hello to the clouds. Rain, rain is let up, but now I'm back in the heavy cloud cover. Okay, made it back down to Dick's Creek Gap. About a six mile hike. It's like back in the day. Made good time. Uh, that was two hour, two and a half hours of hiking. So pretty easy without your full pack. Uh, so tomorrow's a zero for sure. No kidding this time. And then Saturday morning, I will look to get into North Carolina get rid of Georgia. It's been fun, but I'm ready to move on. See you later. Well, I'm in High Washington, Georgia. Still raining. And I'm looking for food. Nice little town. I checked into the Holiday Inn here. Pretty busy little town, we got a nice little shop. Looks like a lot of stuff's new. Hanging out at the Abide Coffee Shop. And, uh, apparently, they're Christians that own this. And uh, it comes from the scripture, Abide in Me. They named this coffee shop Abide Coffee Shop. Pretty cool. Bradford pears are in bloom where you are, but they are in full bloom here. Beautiful. There's a Japanese magnolia too. It should be about done. This is walking from the down in town where I Got coffee at the Abide Coffee Shop back to the Holiday Inn. It's pretty. Okay, it's uh, 5.45 on day seven at the end of the day. Uh, been a good day. Uh, I was very pleased with my slack pack. Uh, made really good time coming down the mountain. I've been here and been able to, as you can see by the photos and all, I have been able to eat and probably going to go out again <laughs> and eat again in a little while. Everybody knows how much, well, all my friends know how much I like a steak. So it looks like I'm going to probably get a steak. There's one right, the steak place is supposed to be pretty good right here close to the hotel. So that's pretty nice, but this is my wrap up. Um, I was just looking back at the videos, talking about how I was going to keep hiking and 
and then got scared about the rain and then after the 16 mile day needed the, the zero but I decided to do a Sobo flip-flop slack pack and get those six miles in. I did not know that there was an option to go to Blue Ridge Gap where I started. I thought that when I left uh, Tick, Tick's Creek Gap headed north that there were no other options to get off the trail, but that was not correct apparently, obviously, because I just did it. So I am now uh, ready to go back and I think that's at the 75 mile point on the trail. Uh, and then as soon as I hit the trail, I believe, uh, I believe I will be done with Georgia. So that's a good thing. That's another milestone. Uh, not a very big milestone, but it is a milestone. It's 13 states. So every time you click one off, it's good. Um, I am uh, feeling good, feeling a lot better today uh, than I did yesterday. So I feel like I'm recovering well. So that's that's important. Uh, I will continue to rest tomorrow. I know there's some rain. I don't know how bad it's gonna be. I keep getting mixed reports about if it's gonna be stormy or not. I may could have hiked, but I think my body can stand the, stand the day of rest. So I'm gonna rest tomorrow, which is Friday. And then I've already set up a ride to pick me up at 6.15 a.m. and take me back to the trail on Saturday morning. So I am going to be ready Saturday morning. And then, then there's no way to get off trail for a couple of days. So you probably won't get any more videos from me for a while because I won't have Wi-Fi to be able to upload them. So anyway just kind of giving you a heads up on that and look for me as soon as I can and get into somewhere where I can upload videos. I will send you just like I've been doing day by day. All right. Thanks for keeping up with me, praying for me and uh, pray for my wife and children and everybody and all my friends back home and pray for Scotty. I hadn't gotten a report back on that on how he's doing, but I'm praying that uh, they found out what's going on with him and, uh, and they've got uh, got a plan of action in in court in order. All right, talk to you later. Have a good uh, Thursday night, and uh, I will see you down the trail.